So for those that are new to the, the stream um, and haven't watched this one before, um, basically I'm doing 100% runs of every level in Banjo Kazooie uh, right now. I'm not a speedrunner, so uh, and I haven't played this game in like a year and a half, so I don't necessarily remember where everything is, especially in the later levels. Um, so this will be interesting, but uh, the channel itself focuses on classic games. Um, and I only play them on... Oh, not good. Um, and I only play them on... I don't play anything on emulators. I only play stuff on the physical systems because um, I amassed a pretty big collection when I was younger and these games were collecting dust for a long time, so this is what I'm doing. Um, so you'll see the N64 is hanging out back here with Banjo-Kazooie actually in it. That's why um, the graphics are a nice, crisp blocky 480p. Um, but it's all part of the charm, right? So there we go. Now I gave the channel spiel. Aha, toll. Don't you wish you could pay for everything in eggs? Be a lot easier. Ah, uh, no, 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 not in the water! Crap. So the jumping and flapping above the water really helps in this level, because the longer you're in the water, you, um, you just lose air by default when you're in the water. Ah! Uh, well, there went that. I was trying to get that mumbo token up there. I think there might be a way to um, make that platform longer, though, so I'll let that live for a bit. It would be excellent. <laughs> JM, I appreciate your humor. Alright, so here, this is one thing. That was almost bad. Come on. Get up there. No? Floating too high? Of course it is. This level is so annoying. Alright. Moving on. We're gonna do this. Mm -hmm, or not. There we go. You know, one of these days I'm actually gonna get up there. Eat it, stupid thing. N64 camera that you cannot change, so you can't see where you're going. Ugh. Hey, it's a jiggy! Look at that. Worked hard enough for it. So now we get to the part of the game where it takes as long to get one jiggy as it did to get five in the first level. Oh, deadbeat. You're, you're speaking my language. Um, yes, I will absolutely play Rescue Rangers. Um, I also, for anybody interested, uh, oh, wrong way, I also have, um, DuckTales 2, which is one of the rarest NES games around, um, and also a very good one. Um, but yes, Rescue Rangers is, can absolutely happen. Wow, apparently I suck at this. 
You guys know how good I am about uh, watching chat and actually doing what I'm supposed to. Yeah, um... Hey, it's actually a really good game, uh, Deadbeat. Um, you, you'd be surprised. Um, and then another really rare one that I have, too, that's actually a really good game is, um... There was a Je there's a Jetson game for the NES, too, that's actually really good. I'm just going down here enough to get the, the notes. I think and that's just an extra life, so I don't care about that. Yeah, so there's this four notes. That's all I'm down here for. <laughs> what are you guys playing these days, Deadbeat? I assume you beat Super Mario Brothers three. Uh, Rosie. Rosie is the robot maid. Wait. I think the notes are over there, aren't they? Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're over there. So I'm sabotaging myself here. It was rough. I saw you guys taking on the tanks um, in the first screen of the zone. But after that, I had to go. I think I left when you guys hit the submarine, and you guys are still working on it. The question is... How to get out? Oh, break through the door? No? Oh, no, that's not a door. Everyone. Have to go the way I came in? Alright, let me go over here and see if a solution presents itself. I have to replace the one I just lost. So, how do I get out of here? I don't know, guys. It's a good question. I wonder if there's something down, if I can swim out down the bottom. Oh, yep, I can go swim out right here. Oh, Super Mario World? Yes. So, so, so much easier. It's actually what I played on my very first stream. Um, the stream said that I couldn't beat Bowser in 24 minutes, and I pushed pushed it, like, literally to the last second, but it did, it did work out. I also went and uh, tried some of the special levels and was a dummy and didn't save, and then... Um, Uh, Alright, hold on. Man. Pausing the story until I don't die. Ha! I cannot believe I didn't fall in the water there. Um. What was I saying? Oh, crap. Uh. Yeah things. I was saying things. Yeah, you, um, well, I didn't beat the game. I, in total, I think if, if you don't count what I spent, how much time I spent in the special levels, I probably beat it in like 30. Um, but you just go to, you beat the first boss, and then as soon as you get to the second world, you, um, go and you open up the special worlds, and then you just plow through those, and then that will, um, <laughs> I just passed my best, best note score, guys. It's impressive, right? Um, and then once you get through all the special levels, you can actually warp right to Bowser's Castle, and then I was able to beat it. Um, when I got to Bowser's Castle, I had 24 minutes left. Um, which wasn't 
super bad considering that I hadn't played that game in years and didn't remember like any of what doors to go in or anything else. Anything else. Um, the stream was very helpful and um, wait, what am I? What, why am I going up here again? Um, the stream was really helpful in helping me know which doors to to go in. But yeah, 24 minutes. Again, it was it was close, but it did it did work out for me. Where are you guys at in Mario World though? Because like I didn't I didn't play most of the game. I just kind of speed run, I did a speed run of the whole thing. Um, This is apparently how I'm getting on with the ship. Ah! I win! It's always scary because that, that cage really feels like it's going to come right down on top of you. Um, yeah. Don't really remember where I was going with that, but there it is. These stupid things. I hate these things. And they're really annoying because you actually have to go in some of these stupid things. Chocolate Island? Uh, yeah, Coco. Uh, Coco, Coco Island. It's kind of the, the mountainy area, right? You're not to the Forest of Illusion yet. Once you get to the Forest of Illusion... That's where it starts to get really fun. And then you got the ghost ship too, and mm, fun stuff. You guys have beaten it before, I assume, right? Oh, you beat the forest already? Really? So there, there's there's a, a code here somewhere that I gotta find. I don't really feel like island is after. Oh. Okay, so you're the you're the the, uh, the island. Okay, so you're in world seven, I think. Gotcha. So it's been a while for you too, then. Hey, it's a jiggy. Good. Oh, that's three of the ten. See, I like those guys because if you if you do it right, then they're actually just free health. But if you do it wrong, you kind of get screwed. Because usually you get knocked off of whatever platform it is, so you get hit hurt by them, and then you get hurt by. Um, other things. Uh, you get hurt by the fall. Um, oh, Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. That is awesome. That is one of my absolute favorite series ever. Used to, I wasted so much time on that series as a kid. Ah, uh, really? Uh. Alright, one of these things is something that I'm actually supposed to go in. I gotta figure out which one it is. By the way, in case you're wondering why I haven't gone inside the ship, I have a system. Um, whenever I go somewhere, I try to get everything in one area first, because otherwise I lose track of where I've been. Um, so I'm trying to get all the notes and everything that's outside the ship first, and then I'll go head in. Um, Alright, I know this one. Oh, you haven't played the third one? Oh. Um, personally, I think the second one's the best, 
but the third one is really, really strong too. Um, I love the first one. Actually, uh, when the first one came out, Nintendo did um, a competition to see. It basically, it was a speed running competition for Donkey Kong Country. Um, and I competed, and I placed like I don't know, like third in the in, in the state or something, because you had to run the first like three or four levels. Um, I don't remember exactly which ones, um, but yeah. No, that's not saying a lot because the state was Kentucky, which admittedly is not a very big state. However, it was still fun. But yeah, um, I think I actually like the second one the best. But I also love pirates, and the second one is absolutely full of pirates, so... Yeah, it wasn't bad for, um, you know, being 11 or 12 or whatever I was at the time. It was a lot of fun. So the sooner you unlock all these stupid bridges, the better off you are, because it's way easier to get around once these are all out. However, they're all stupid shapes, so it's really easy to fall off into the stupid water, and then you've got to do that. See? See? Just like that? Yeah, that's what, that's what happens. Uh, where's... Evil! Oh. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to go in here. I love Banjo Kazooie's music. Have I said that already? I'm pretty sure that I have. Yeah, no, this level, this level, very difficult. Um. The, um, I think I got all the notes. Oh, yeah, but I just love how the music it keeps this, it always keeps the same song, but it'll change in real time as you go to different parts of the environment. So, like, you go underwater right here, and the music will keep playing right in time, it'll just change the instrumentation of it. Um, that, like, blew my mind when I was a kid, because I was like, wow, I didn't know video game music could do that. Alright, so you can see I'm trying to kill these TNT crates from a distance, because if you actually try to kill them in person, they will hurt you. Alright, there's ooh, two more. And so what I'm doing is I'm going into first-person mode, since it won't let me adjust the camera to look around. Um, going into first-person mode, coming back out, and then shooting the eggs just to make sure that I'm in the right... or that I'm aiming in the right place. Obviously I missed that one. Probably just knocked him out of my... Really? That's it? I deserve a jiggy for that. Come on! Um... So that's one, one way you can deal with the crappy camera in this game. I seem to remember those four notes eluding me at one point as like the only four that I hadn't gotten in the level. Hmm. Um, does anybody else, did anybody else lose sound on the stream? Oh man, all classics. Blast Core, I'm definitely gonna play here at some point too. Um. Okay, cool. Um, Devin, just just reset your um 
Or just refresh your browser. Mine actually, oh crap, there's water down here. Or no, there's not. Um, my, uh, my stream actually froze a little bit earlier. That's where I, 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 I thought that I had actually lost you guys and I just had to reset my browser. One thing I've learned streaming on Twitch, um, oh, I loved Blast Core, man. I 100%ed that sucker. So, like, I went through, like, all the planets and, like, everything. Um, I'm pretty sure I still got that save on the game. Um, but yes, Blast Core is one of my all time favorite games. It's on my, like, top five. Um, oh, but what I was saying before, some, something I've learned since starting to stream on Twitch, uh, Twitch's streaming, like, really sucks. Like, their, their servers are just weird or something. And I don't know, they can't keep up with the data or whatever. Um, so, like, randomly it'll just, like, glitch or freeze. Like, it took me a good probably five, six hours of experimenting with different streaming settings just to make sure that, um, well, I should have gotten a double kill there. Um, just to make sure that, hey, there's that kill. Um, that it would run smoothly. So for anybody that's watching that doesn't stream and is thinking about it, something to think about. And it has nothing to do with your internet connection. It's all It all seems to be on Twitch's end. Um, but all that said, Blast Corp Core would tear Twitch apart. You're not wrong. Oh, hey, there's the combination for those stupid whistles. I can't even see what it is because that stupid inner tube is in the way. Life preserver, whatever the thing is. Alright, let's see if I can do better at this than I did last time, because I gotta get over that crane so I can get back on the boat. How nice of them. The, uh, the zigzag of that platform actually lines up exactly with the, uh, how the camera cha changes. You couldn't get it to Chromecast for some reason? Interesting. Yeah, I haven't tried- I know there there is a Twitch channel on, um, on the Roku, and I haven't tried setting it up on my Roku yet. Usually when I'm watching, I just am, like, working down, well, down here in my basement on a project or something like that, so I just turn on the TV, or on the computer, which is hooked up to the TV. Alright, still don't want to go in there just yet. Hey, our numbers are growing, guys. Welcome everybody who just tuned in. I think we just gained like three people. Um, for those that just tuned in, um, trying to finish up Rusty Bucket Bay tonight here in Banjo Kazooie, I'm going around um, all the outside parts of the level, trying to get everything out here before I head inside the ship. I always love that. You poke a hole in the life preserver and it just shoots around the, sh the ship, making party noise. Man, this was back when Rare, Rare knew what they were doing. Not that they make crappy games now, it's just the games aren't nearly as good as they used to be. But then, I sound like an old person. But then I do feel old sometimes. When you turn 30, you feel old. Thoughts on Star Fox Zero? Um, I actually have gotten... I've had to play it in bits and pieces here and there, but honestly, is it as good as it could be? Probably not, um, because of the control scheme, but honestly, I'm really enjoying it. Like, even, even the, um... The, what's those stupid hovercraft, whatever it's called. Um, even those missions really aren't that bad. Um, everybody's saying they're terrible. I mean, they're a little slow, I guess. But I don't think they're, like, as completely awful as everybody's making them out to be. Alright, 312111. <laughs> Thanks, Jam. You're not wrong. What do you think, Debbie? Have you played it? It's one of those ones that I pre-ordered because I was just so excited that there was going to be a new Star Fox game. 
<laughs> oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Hey guys, if you uh, knock out a window in the floor, you're gonna fall through it into the building below it. Just so you know. Just to clear that up. Oh, that's right. There's a dolphin caught. I forgot about that. Ah, it's Snacker! Yikes. You are not who I wanted to see in here. <laughs> well, welcome back, D back, Devin. Yeah, um, Debbie, I don't know that I would pay full, like, full price, full price for it, but, I, I mean, I did pay full price for it, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, in any case, don't listen to the reviews, it's just a bunch of people that, I don't really know what their problem is. Um, I think they're just, maybe their, their hopes were too high. <laughs> Is that a hard and fast rule jam? Because that's a problem. Woo! Just about ended in the shark tank again. Alright, so the dolphin's caught under the anchor, and I think I have to go swim up into the anchor anchor pit? Any any nautical engineers in the room that know what I'm swimming into? I mean, the hull of the ship, obviously, but... Yeah, SJ, you haven't had me for, for post yet. If you think about it, SJ, um, I am the only post professor in the cinema department at Liberty, like official, po or like fully post, -prof -prof post professor, which makes me both the best and the worst at the same time. Yay, another jiggy. The Anchorium, I like it, JM. That's what I'm calling it from now on. So now I'm going to get out of the anchor room. Wait, the post professor did what? Oh, oh, I, oh, I, I asked you here. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Sorry, I had to read back in chat a little bit. How many notes do I have? Ugh! The notes are so spread out in this level. air. Go, go, go. Alright. I will wait to get that jiggy. Alright. Need a ladder, need a ladder, need a ladder. So for anybody that joined us late, um, because the water has oil in it, because this totally makes sense, um, because the water has oil in it, uh, I lose air twice as fast while I'm in it. Crap, where did this stupid dolphin leave the jiggy? I wasn't paying attention, I was watching chat. Um, alright, well, let's go down in the water and see if it just appears. Maybe it's a draw distance thing. Yep, there it is. Alright, guys. I lose air twice as fast underwater. Go, 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 go fast. Go faster, go faster. You know, interestingly enough, Deadbeat, I've never picked up a 3DS. I've almost done it, like, a gajillion times, and I have a hard enough time playing all the Wii U stuff. Um, I just don't play as many games as I used to, unfortunately. But eventually, yes, I will get a 3DS, and I've got a list, like, a mile long, and JM's probably gonna 
wig out that I don't have one yet. So, sorry, Jam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't know how strange it is to me, too, that I, that I don't have a 3DS. Um, it's the first Nintendo system that I've never owned. Alright, so 312111, I think is what it was. If not, I'll find out real easy, or real quickly. Yeah, Debbie, that's actually what a lot of people have said. Um, that they kind of got it just because they didn't, like, or they were just looking for something new. And, um, because <laughs> they, they were looking for something new and then they just ended up just loving the heck out of it. So if I did get a 3DS, what's the first, first game I should get? I mean, the one that I'm most excited about, which maybe I should or shouldn't be, I don't know, I just love the series, is um, Lu the Luigi's Mansion game. So that would be, like, my first purchase. Eventually I would get Smash Brothers, just because it's Smash Brothers. Um, but... Ah, eat it, chef. Um, eventually I would get Smash Brothers, just because it's Smash Brothers, but... I'm not super excited about that. It's a dangerous kitchen. The what, Luigi's Mansion? Was your first one? Well, sounds like a good choice then. Um, was it worth the? Was it was it worth it? Like it it lived up to the hype. Gross ship. It's got worms in the kitchen or in the fridge. The Luigi's Mansion theme is literally one of my favorite game themes ever. So now I'm gonna be start being really, really careful with my health, everyone, because um, I've got a lot of notes and I don't want to have to go back and, and gather these little three and four note chunks again. So I'm not actually gonna get these honeycombs that are falling um, when I kill these enemies, because I can always come back and get them later. <laughs> Everything about Luigi's Mansion is your favorite thing ever. That's awesome. Well, maybe what I'll do... Is there any way to output a 3DS's um, screen to, uh, like, analog or HDMI? Does it have an HDMI out on it? Because if it does, I'll totally stream it when I, or stream Luigi's Mansion when I get it. And I'll just stream it, I'll just not play it, and, except during the stream. The green guys are very friendly. Or very, very friendly. Very unfriendly. You're not wrong. So how many Jiggies do I have? Because I feel like I've been through most of the level already. I only have five? Ooh, the inside of this ship had better be huge. I may have to figure that out. Woo! -ho 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 -ho! That was almost really bad. Alright, so I gotta wait until this thing flips over. Well, it's a good time to grab a sip of water. Oh, it only flips this way. I was thinking it flipped the other way, stayed, and then flipped this way instead. I was wrong. 
Holy jeez. You have to install a capture card in the thing? That's insane. I don't think I'm gonna be that brave. Yeah, you're not kidding, Deadbeat. That's crazy. I'm actually all for modding stuff, but... That sounds just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a really unforgiving slope. Oh my gosh. Do I have to go get all the notes again? Oh, that's evil. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to go do that part first. Alright, guys. So if I get all the jiggies, um, then I'm just going to move on because I think I have enough notes to, to get through. Um, yeah, 72. And I'll just go do what I did with Mad Monster Mansion and I'll go back and get all 100% the notes after the stream, because that's just going to get, like, really boring. Me just running around getting notes all day. Especially in this level. Somebody pointed out, um, when, like, one of the first days I was streaming this, that in the HD remake, you actually didn't have to, um, ah! Uh, you actually didn't have to get all the notes in one life. You had, you actually, it would actually save them between lives, but not so in this one. Oh, that sucks so much. Um... You're playing through... Oh, Kid Icarus 3DS. Yeah, I've heard that if you can get used to the control scheme, that that game is actually really fun. <laughs> yeah, I hear that that was... Um, that was an interesting game. Like, it was really good, but... You know, there were... And there were some significant butts to it. <laughs> the controls are brutal, I hate them. It's a good quote to remember. So are there even any note? There are notes up here. There are notes up here, so there's no way. Yeah, that's what that's what I've heard. That it's one of those things where the controls are a problem, but it's it's totally worth it to just power through. I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. I don't think I'm beating Quick Clockwood tonight. evil mumbo tokens in the entire game. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That is so terrible. Yikes. Alright, that other mumbo token is just gonna sit there. I don't even care anymore. Stupid inner tube. <laughs> you can only can tolerate the controls like one day a month. I'm going to use that quote. That's a fantastic quote. Oh. Well, I'm not too worried about health in this part. I'm more worried about instant death. So. Okay, 
can't believe I'm reduced to using this stupid punch because I'm afraid I'm gonna fly off the edge if I don't. Yeah, I've actually never gotten into Fire Awakening, much to, to, to JM's uh, dismay. Um, which I know that I would, because I love strategy games. Like, love, love, love strategy games. Hey, there's a Jiggy out there. Interesting. means I've got to go down one of the pipes up top to get to that. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can just do this. Nope. 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 It's not going to let me. Okay. So cool. I spent all the effort getting here and I can't even finish this stupid jiggy. Unless I can beat barge through that glass, which I don't think I can. It's glass! You should be able to break it! Ugh. Well, whatever. At least I go back to the beginning. This level is evil! Man, I feel like such a hack right now. just some notes I'm gonna come right back up because I'm not focusing on getting all the notes right now anyway. chomping sound. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. I should have felt like a fact, like a hack, like a fact, like a hack when I um, admitted no 3DS. Well, you're not wrong. Sometimes I do feel like a hack for not actually owning a Nint one of the Nintendo systems. Good grief. This level is ridiculous. Have I said this level is ridiculous yet? Because it's ridiculous. Fates burned you. How did how did it burn you? It only seems gigantic. It, the reason why it seems gigantic is because there's so many stupid switches. You can't go anywhere until you hit like all the stu all the dumb switches that you're supposed to hit. Like I think, because like I can't even get get this that um that dumb jiggy down where I keep keep dying. Oh, the special edition stuff. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people were kind of mad about that. Um, you can't even get to that place where I keep, or get the jiggy in that place where I keep dying unless you get the, um, oh, that's not it. Unless you hit the switch in the other room that I can't find the entrance to. Yeah, um, that didn't really strike me as super smart on Nintendo's part to gate the content like that. That seemed like a really dumb idea. Alright, well I'm just gonna go after this Jiggy instead. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a very Pokemon-esque thing for them to do. That's why we all had to do had to um, trade with friends and and childhood, correct? Because we all wanted the all the Pokemon that we couldn't get in our version because Nintendo was dumb. No, but it's it's promoting community. Can I get there? Can I get there? Nope. And there's no. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll figure out how to get there. Right here in a minute. And I need more eggs. So I gotta gather eggs while avoiding the stupid boxes. Go, 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 go. Can't believe I didn't get hit right there. <laughs> I hear Bravely Default is, uh, is a fantastic game. Um, that's another one that I really want to get if I get a 3DS. Heck, am I supposed to have enough eggs to do this? And all the eggs are gone. Okay. Time to actually... Oh, this is not going to be good, guys. I'm going to get swarmed. Deadbeat, you sound um, like me with uh, with Z Xenoblade Chronicles. Eventually, you know, three years after I start, I'm actually gonna actually beat the thing. Xenoblade Chronicles X is still in the plastic wrap from Christmas, and I know they're not continuous stories, but I don't really feel like starting one while the other one's still left unfinished because I do actually still want to finish it. I just for some reason don't. <laughs> 